This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this dual lighting effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out my GIMP series. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in GIMP, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here, as you can see, I have this example photograph opened up. The first thing we want to do is just duplicate this layer so that we can work with it a little bit. I'm just going to click this button down here that says create a duplicate of the layer and add to the image. And I'm going to remove the saturation from this image. So I'll go to colors, saturation, and bring that all the way down. And then click OK so that we are left with a grayscale image like that. So what I want to do now is add a new layer on top of this. So I'm going to click the button down here that says create a new layer and add it to the image. Click OK to leave the defaults as it is. And I'm going to fill this in with a shade of pink. So I'm going to come up here and change my color selection to a shade of pink, maybe something like that. I'm going to go with FF5BBA as the HTML or the hex code. You can use whatever shade you'd like. I personally think this shade worked out well for this sort of effect. So I'll leave that as it is and click OK. And now I want to go to edit, fill with foreground color. And that's going to fill the layer in with that color of pink. And now I want to set the blend mode to overlay so that we end up with something like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer based on what's visible on the screen here. So I'm going to right click this layer and go to new from visible. And I'm going to turn off the visibility of that layer for now. I'm going to come back down here to this pink layer and I'm going to fill this with blue now. So let me change the foreground color to blue. Click OK and go to edit. Fill with foreground color. And now I want to create uh, a new layer based on what's visible here as well, just like we did for the pink layer. So I'm going to right click this layer and go to new from visible. And now I want to turn the visibility of the top layer back on, or that pink layer rather. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the foreground color back to black. Click OK. We're going to want black as the foreground and white as the background. And I want to click on this top layer, activate that, and I'm going to add a layer mask. So I'm going to click this button over here that says add a, add a mask that allows non-destructive editing of transparency. Click Add. Just leave the defaults as they are. We want to use white fill opacity. Click Add. And now I'm going to grab the gradient tool, which is hidden underneath the bucket tool here. So I'm going to click and hold on that and grab the, grab the uh, gradient tool. Or you could just press G on the keyboard. That'll grab it as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the gradient selector. And I want to make sure we have foreground to background selected, where it's going from black to white, as you see here. And once we have that selected, I'm just going to bring the cursor to the right of the subject over here and just click and drag and hold control to lock it onto the horizontal axis. Click and drag this to the right a little bit like that, or to the left rather. And that's looking pretty good. We want blue on this side and pink on this side, which is what we have here. This looks good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create another layer based on what we have visible here. So I'm going to right click this and go to new from visible. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to I'm just going to edit the curves a bit to bring this all together to put the finishing touch on this. So I'll go to Colors, Curves, and I want to take this bottom node down here and click and drag this to the right a little bit. And if you notice what it's doing there is it's deepening the shadows. And I'll maybe even bring it up a little bit as well just to lighten it up a bit. Something like that. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to come over to the red channel. I'm going to add a little bit of red in here by taking this top node and sliding this to the left a little bit. Make sure you're watching what's happening on your canvas as you do this. You don't want to get too carried away and end up with something like that. I'll just bring this over to the left just a little bit. And then I'll come over to the blue channel and do the same thing. Take this node and bring this over to the left a little bit. And maybe I'll add a little blue in here down here as well to the overall image like that. And if you toggle the preview off and on, you can see the difference there. Pretty big difference there. This looks like a more of like a unified image than this does. So I'll go ahead and click OK to finalize that. And I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about creating this dual lighting effect with an image using GIMP. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>